Hi guys, Beth Kalbeck here with my last um, Valentine project for this year. And I'm going to show you how to make, we'll make one together, this cute little um, Valentine that I'm making for some co-workers. And inside are conversation hearts, those little boxes. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do to get ready to make one of these is make a little rosette so we have that ready when we put everything together. Now I use a file, a cutting file on my Silhouette Cameo and when you cut it out this is what it looks like and I know it doesn't show on camera but there's little score lines in between those scallops so the first thing that you do is just fold it back and forth on the score lines and it gives you this. Okay? Very simple. Then you take the two ends and I use wet glue so it'll hold and you glue that together. Glue those two ends together so that what you get is a circle like this. Okay? Sorry, I'm trying to stay in focus, in frame. Once you have that circle, then it's just a matter. Now, I like to do it upside down so that the back of the rosette is what's going to be on my table. And you just sort of squeeze and fiddle and flatten. Whoops, sometimes it jumps up. Move it back. And, but you can't go wrong. It will let you do it. It's like a Mexican jumping bean. <laughs> but you just fiddle and fold, and there it is. But if I let go, we know what's going to happen, right? That's going to pop up. Now, another part of that file, it cuts out that little circle, which we're going to hot glue. And all I do... Hopefully my glue gun's ready. I just kind of hold that there. And I just put a blob of hot glue. And that's why I like to do it upside down. And, oh, my thing is not... You know what, guys? I just dropped my um, glue gun. And it, it must have hit the handle and shut off. So we're going to let that... We're going to come back to this. That's what we'll do while this reheats. Sorry about that, guys. But all we're going to do is put some glue there and put that button on top. So we're going to leave that there. What we're going to do while we wait for the glue gun is we're going to go to the box. And we're going to take a piece of paper. Now, I chose pink and this is three and three eighths by five and a half inches. And that's it. I mean, I didn't even, that's it. All you do is cut it out. Three and three eighths by five and a half inches. Put the box on it. And this was much easier. Normally, I would score in fold, but the dimensions were off. Like it wasn't a perfect two inches or so to make it easier for myself. I did it this way. So I just creased it and then came back and um, then I used my bone folder to get a nice line. And then do it on the other side. Fold that up. And then fold it flat. I mean, that's just how easy it is to make this box. And then, all I did was take some adhesive. And I like to use um, an ATG gun. I just put stuff like this 
and I just put some adhesive on one side. And then I just wrapped my box like a present. Watching I keep my ends even. And there you go, I have a nice little matchbox. Then I took a paper doily and I just placed it where I wanted it. And for this I took some wet glue and I just put a few divvy dots. How's that for a technical term? And I put that down. Okay. And then I made a little banner. I just took a strip of cardstock that matched the box. And to make a banner, I just made a slit up the middle and then angled to meet that point. And boom. And then I did it to the other side. And then I took my wet glue and I put that down there. Okay, now let's see if our glue gun's ready. <coughs> Once you get it flat, it goes together fairly, like the second time, it goes together much easier, much quicker. Let's see if we can get some glue out of there. We have success. Yes. Take my little button. It's just a cardboard little circle. And you know, if you don't have a cutting machine, you can still make a rosette. What I do, um, what I would do is just cut a strip. Like this one's about an inch wide, so I'd probably cut it about an inch and a half wide and then just use a border punch to make it pretty on the side and then um, score it every half inch or so or a quarter inch and um, fold it back and forth. So there, that quickly we have a rosette. And then I just took a sticker. I have these little hearts that are little shakers. And I used my glue gun to put that down. I used my glue gun for this because the way the rosette is made, it's not a flat surface. So I wanted the heart not to fall off. So I did it that way. And then... I'm going to take some glue, and there you go. It's that easy, guys, and I think that makes like a beautiful presentation. The last thing I did is I came back in with some stickles, and I used stickles. Now, I'm not liking this. I'm just trimming it because there's some um, ink on there from the printing of the cardstock. And um, I just don't like it. There. So now I'm just going to go in with stickles. Make sure you can see. And I just spread that around. And then, we are done. I know some of you have been asking to see how I do these things, so hopefully, I'm new at this, but hopefully this makes sense, and you'll be able to try this too. So there you go. Enjoy, and we'll see you again next time. And before I sign off, as always, I would like to thank all my new subscribers for joining me. 
And if you like the video, please click like below and tell your friends about my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.